got to deal with your drug abuse. You got to deal with all that stuff at its core. Because if we don't deal with at its core, it's going to creep up again and again. And we think we can, they think we, we're going to solve all these problems about God. How much do you, some people say we've been here for billions of years, millions of years, yet they're still crying. Yet there's still problems in the world. If we're so evolved, why do we still have all these problems in the world if we're so evolved? We should, this should be a, a utopia on earth by now. We should be loving and, and, and sort of getting along so well, but no! Still full of hatred. We've been, we've been living for billions of years, they say. Millions of years. We're so evolved and enlightened. Yeah, we have knowledge, yes, but not, not love. No, we don't. Not true love, anyway. A form of love, but not true love. Yes, we have knowledge. We have cars and bus and train and Wi-Fi and, and fancy clothes that light up. Shoes that light up. Oh, interesting. But love? Some, some, some of you say I love people, but once they do you wrong, once they curse you out and betray you and lie on you, your so-called love turns to hatred. Oh, you did me wrong, that person should go burn in hell. All I care. Yeah, a lot of people say that. You do me wrong, I'm going to do you wrong. You hate me, I'm going to hate you. you. You stole my man, you stole my girl, I'm going to hate you now. But the Bible says that, that's no profit to you. A anybody can do that. The Bible says... He, this is what all men know you are my disciples if you pray a lot, if you read your Bible, if you go to church every week, that's fine. But the Bible says if you, have, if you are my disciples, you have love for one another. We don't have true love. We have not, so much knowledge, not true love. That's all I do know you are truly a person of God, a person of purity and class and excellence. A lot of people who, who don't have you love. They talk a lot, put a, put a facade, but the love ain't there. It's not there at all. It's a form of love. Well, the Bible says it's a form of godliness. But once adversity comes, your so-called love evaporates. It evaporates, it goes away. They hate me, I'm going to hate them. They don't like me, I don't like them. But I thought you were loving, right? Christ said, Father, forgive them for it. They know not what they do. They, the people that, that beat Christ, spit on Christ, stabbed Christ. Christ said, Christ don't love those people, man. I said, what love is this? What matter of love is this? Because most people, if somebody is beating us, spitting on us, stabbing us, they say, I want to. I want to kill them right now. If I could, I'm going to pluck their heads off. But Christ said, forgive them. That's true love right there. In our nature, we don't have it. I want the true love of Jesus. Hallelujah. Some say it's just a book. It's just a fantasy, a fairy tale. No, it's a, no, not only. It goes into your, your personal life. It goes into the way you talk to your parents, your children, your siblings, how you work, how you operate, how you interact with people. Because most people don't see heights, nobody, or smile, nobody. But check this out. God, what's up? God bless y'all. God bless y'all. Much love, much love, much love. And the world is missing this. Yet we claim to have love. In God first place. We claim. Yeah. Parents said, don't talk to strangers. Yo, you are still a kid? You grown now. Get out of that now. Don't talk to strangers. Don't see hi to strangers. Bible says Christ looked on the multitude of people and had compassion. But when we do it, we look down on people. We ignore them. I don't care about them. I don't care. I'm my own business. But Christ looked on people and had compassion on people. It's not about skin. It's about sin. It's not about skin. It's about sin. Christ came to deal with sin. For people who focus on just skin, you have a very narrow way of thinking. Not just about skin. By the inside of a person. You got to deal with what's going on in the inside, the inner issues of a person, of a man, of a woman. That's what will help to bring healing to this nation. We get to the inner issues. 
of our problems. Oh God, come, come in. Dive in. And do a work in us one by one. Bible says life and death is in the tongue. How do you learn anything in the world? By words. What's one thing is, is words. That's one big way of learning is words. Words that you see on TV and the books. How you hear words from your friend and we are influenced by words. We are impacted by words. But are you getting the right words in you? How can you get the best high quality words that impact your life? You go to the best sources of information. Sure, there's lots, there's great books out there. There's, you know, Bible's my favorite book. You got other success books, health books, money books, career books, all these books. So put all those books in your, put the information in your mind. You know, put the best fuel into your mind. And some of these books are going to conflict with one another. At one point, and personally, I think the Bible is supersedes all those books. It's timeless. You want to put the best word into your mind to you live the best life possible. God bless you. Much love, much love. You got first place. Much love, much love. Grace and peace. Safe travel. Today can be, today can be a last day. It can be my last day. Live life well. Live life well. Excellence. Excellence. purpose and when many people are living lives of mediocrity they have no true purpose much love much love we got first place we got no purpose they live a life of darkness selfishness they don't care about people because they have no true purpose if it feels good let's do it if i feel like i'm gonna do but I've seen how that works. And somebody says, well, I'm going to get drunk. I don't care. I'm going to get drunk and drive a car. Then they kill a family of five. Your way don't work. I'm going to get high and drive. I'm going to get high and drive. Then they kill a family of, 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 of eight. Then they, then, then they crash into a pole. And you split your neck. You split, you split your wrist. You, you split your, your ribs. Your way don't work. Guys, it be sober-minded. This, this world says get drunk, get high, get laid. But this world's ways leads to death, misery, and sickness and pain. And a shorter lifespan. I don't deal with the world's ways. Not, not no way. I used to. But I try God's ways and I see how it works differently in my life, in my mind. God bless you. God bless you. Much love. God bless you. I, I, I pray for God's blessing upon you and your child in Jesus' name. Thank you. Rise up above negativity, all right? Much love. God bless you. God bless you. Much love. Much love. The world's way don't always work. Christ's ways is the best way, the best method, the best formula for living the best successful life. I said it right there in his word. You want, you want good success? Huh. Follow my words. If there's good success, that means there's bad success. Uh oh. There are people that seem to be successful, but they're going downhill. They're not right with God. They, they, they're, probably, they're probably making a lot of money. They're traveling the world. A lot of them, they don't have peace, though. You think they have peace? They don't. They have horrible. They don't, they don't, have, don't, they don't, they don't get along with their parents or their children or their siblings. I know, I know quite a bit of celebrities. They, don't, they, don't, they have issues with their children. They curse them out. There's total division in the home. But you think they're so, so successful? They're really not. They smile at the camera, and they struggle with suicide behind the camera. What was it? What was it Bow Wow? What was it Bow Wow recently? Yeah, Bow Wow, I think, has some suicidal issues. Um, Tamar Braxton, 50 Cent, has some issues with, with his son. It's, we don't see these things so much because we just see the glitz and the glamour and the fame and the lights. Because a lot of these celebrities, they have issues behind closed doors. They don't tell you. Christ said, Life does not consist in the abundance of things a man possesses. So a lot of people have a lot of things. They have the cars, the shoes, the money, the swag, but they're miserable inside. 
They're full of hatred inside. They're full of depression inside. That doesn't give you the abundant life. You have a lot of things. If you have things, okay. But true peace and love is in healthy relationships. That's what Christ said, love the Lord for your heart, mind, and soul, and love your neighbor as you love yourself. A lot of people don't love your neighbors. You don't love one another. You, you curse out people, you talk down on them, you wish them bad, you think most about you by yourself, you look down on other individuals. So Christ said, you want true peace of mind, healthy in your body, your mind, your soul, you better love people, you better love, love the Lord. And some say, oh, I don't need people. So, oh, you don't need people. So who made this, this big old mall right here? I don't need people who, who made those shoes, who made your car, who made the road. People. I don't need people. I can do that all by myself. I'm self-made, independent. Oh, sure. Sure. In one way. If you're drowning, I want a professional swimmer to save me from drowning. Don't tell me you don't need people. Oh. If you're drowning, you want someone to save you. You want someone to, to you, if, you, if, you want, if you care about your life. If you're gurgling and you can barely breathe, you want someone to resuscitate you. If, if your mom or dad is sick in the hospital, you have a team of people, doctors, nurses, to help to bring your mother, your father, your brother, your sister back to life. We need one another. Christ and love God and love your neighbor. Don't tell me we need people. People do bad things, but there's some nice, decent people out here that we need. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank, God bless you. God Amen. bless you. God bless you. How y'all doing? Yeah, how about you? Doing Thanks well. Just trying to proclaim this wonderful word that we Amen. need to hear. Amen. This word is, is going downhill. We need to hear this word. Amen. God bless you. Stay strong, all right? Okay. I love you. I love you, right? Grace and peace. Hallelujah. Stop. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I'm, I'm encouraging some people today. This is my mission as a pastor, as a, as a missionary, as someone who, who is a powerful individual. Encouragement. The Bible says exhort the brethren even more as you see that they approach it. But we're not exhorting people. We, we busy tearing down people. What are you, a, a, demolition, a demolition crew? Tearing down people? What are you, a bulldozer? A walking, talking bulldozer? Tearing down people? No, build people up. Look, look at this mall right here. Somebody build this mall. So build each other up. Build one another up. And stop tearing down people. That's why so much crime and, and problems in the world. We tear people down with our words and our actions. Excuse me, sir. Yes. We got to build each other up. Excuse me. I like to build us up, but God bless we, can, you. we can't do it here on this private property. So if I turn down my mic, is that is that is that, is that fine? Because I'm I'm just having I'm, not, I'm just talking. Okay, I'm using my freedom of, of uh, free speech. Well, you still have your freedom of speech, but yeah. we can't do it here on the property. So where can I be? Okay, okay, yeah, okay. I, I understand why. Who's that? Huh? Who's who's she? She's the. Your director? Okay. Okay. Um, so if people can just hang out, so if, I, if I were just standing here hanging out, would that be a problem? Just hanging out? Yeah. Yes, sir. So, oh, so, so, people, so she can't sit there? Hmm? She can't sit there? She said that she's waiting on the bus. I mean. Oh, so, so, so I can't just stand here and just talk to somebody, can't do that? Unless you, uh, if somebody you coming to the mall. Okay, so in your in your rule book, why does it say I can't do this? Does it have any explanation why it just says you can't do it? Is it stepping the peace? What, is it, what does it say? Yeah, it's pretty much what it is because it's on private property, and it's for our customers to come in. Okay, I'm not, I'm not stopping nobody from coming in though. No, I people, know, people coming in, I'm mean, leaving. I understand. And people are saying thank you. Uh, you encouraged me. Thank you so much. People are being have a smile on their face. That's not that's not that's not, that's not, that's not, a, that's not a bad thing. That's not a bad thing, but you know what? Everybody's not into this. Oh, okay, well, they're free to go. They're free to come. Every day I, I walk around, I, I hear bad, crazy music playing on the streets. I hear, I, I hear bad things every day. I, I just, I just learn to deal with it. You, you, 
know, if, if you can't ignore something, that means you don't, you don't have a, you don't have emotional intelligence to, to ignore certain things that, that you come across every day. Every day you, you're gonna see something and hear something that you, that you don't like, but, but you just ignore I, it. I understand that too, but on this property. But I'm, I'm not even inside. I mean, if, if I was inside, maybe no, I understand. Okay, no, I need to... all of this is private property. Okay. Compound. All right, so I'm, I'm gonna turn it down. I'm, I'm gonna speak to people one on one. Is that okay? No. So, so now I can have conversations. I can't, I can't, I can't talk to nobody. Not that kind of conversation. No. What kind of conversation? What kind? What do you mean? Nothing. I mean, really and truly, I mean, you infringing upon. So you saying he can't talk to people one on one? Not necessarily. Yes, you can. Yes, you can talk to people. Well, I'm just telling you, can call the police for what? Am I hurting anybody? What am I doing? Okay, I'm gonna go. In the, I'm gonna go over there. So you, you, you guys can just go and do your job. I, I'm not doing anything that's harmful, harming anybody. I know you're not. I, I preached for years now. I preached in New York. I preached all around. And people That's people are... This is what they do at our place, Mom. It's sad. Private property. Honestly, it's sad. You can't do it on private property. It's really sad. It's just like me coming in your house. Now, in your now, now you're right. That's different right there. Yeah. My house, that's different. I'm not going to your house. But this is here. This is private property here. This is not a public... All right. Public part like Walmart. Are you, are, you, are, you, are you a Christian? Or you believe in God? I do, but that's still... That's, that's private. That's all private. Right. All right. All right. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn it down. I'm gonna have a conversation with people. Is that fine? Okay. So I can't talk to people. Yes, sir. I can't talk to nobody. They're talking right there. You see that? They're That's talking they, right they, there. They're together. They, I'm. We, he's talking to me right now. No. But he, you, what you, you mean? Here, no. You, what you recording here? But he's talking to me. No, yeah. So he's not yeah. talking to me. So what I'm is he doing? I'm gonna have my hang out here and talk, talk, talk to my brother. I can't talk to so my I brother. I can't do it. I can't talk to my, my brother right here. I can't talk to him right here. In other words, you can't sit here and preach. He's talking to me though. Preaching is he speaking. Speaking. Same. So, so, can't so I can't speak. Regular conversation right here. You gonna call the cops and say they're the people talking right here? They, they gotta go. No, I'm saying no, what you're doing is you not allowed to. But he said of, he's gonna stop doing that. He says he's gonna talk to people one on one. No, of well, what I'm saying too, you're not listening to me either. You're still on private property and you can't. And, God bless you. Stay uh, strong, stay strong, my sister. You can't, yeah, you can't be talking to people like you that. Can't, I mean, you can't you talk to people. He said he can't no. talk. You said no. he can't talk no. to people. Wow, so, these so now you. These are customers coming in. Okay, they're and, coming to shop. Yeah, okay, so they're they're, 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 they're free to they're free to shop. He, he said we can't uh, talk to. They're people. free to shop. They're free to go in. Am I, am I am I am I blocking them? Am I doing that to them? No, I'm, I'm not doing that. What, what you are saying, mm. my brother, mm. again, is you're not allowed to do that on this private property. But he just but, said he's gonna stop I doing that. Just say it again. Okay, so, so Mr. Jones here. So people not able. So people. So people not able to speak more. on private properties. That's what you're saying. People cannot speak to each, to each other about issues, whether it's religion or politics or anything. You can't talk to people on a private property. If you know them, no. You if you know okay, them, to, yeah, if you know them, so don't talk. So don't talk. cannot talk to strangers. So don't talk to strangers. He said, "Do not talk to strangers." He says, "Stranger danger." I'm not. We're not going. What am I doing? That's hurting. Am I hurting the business? How am I? Am I hurting the business? I'm. I'm not. I, honestly, I'm. I'm not always here. I live in New York. I'm only here for one day. After I'm gone, so I'm not hurting your business. I'm not. Customers Yeah, because because this is where people are. It's, you're not gonna find people in 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 the alleyways and the backways of some 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 gully way. I go to where people are. Well, okay, then across the street over there where it's not private property, over there where Target is. Yeah, Target's not Target's not private Target's private property. No, it's not. It's public property. It's public Target. Property. Target. Mm. Like that big parking lot over mm. there. We got five, six, seven, eight different stores. Mm. In there. They're not private. Mm -hmm. This is a private. This entire complex is private. Mm. Okay. Okay. So when you say private, what does that mean? We have rules that you have to abide yeah. by. Okay. Okay. Even even though there's no explanation, it's just, just the rules are just there for I don't know why. There should be explanation for these rules. I would I would hope so. Because mm -hmm. you're just telling people to not to do not to do that. 
you know, over like. Here it becomes, it becomes really so, so why is it? That, so why is so why the people? Can, so why is it? Why the people that can can hang around here and smoke? Why is that allowed? Going into the mall. They no, I seen. I, 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 smoke break. No, I seen people hanging around here to smoking, and that's they, that's allowed. This is your first day. I, I was here last month. It was was a few years ago. No, no, so no, I, I know no. people and smoking is obviously a, a, a health hazard, and that's yeah, allowed. That's, that's the thing. Mm. That's their thing. That's why they so, you, so you guys allow smoking, but but not but not no, no, no. but not speaking. No, no, no. There's no smoking past this point. You can't do this. They go over there and smoke. They take this smoke break. They oh, come back in. But they can't smoke over here. Beyond this point, I see. So we can't take our, okay. Our so can break? I so can I preach beyond this point? Not on this property. So you can smoke beyond this point, but you cannot preach or speak to people beyond this point. Hmm. They come in the shop. So what are the, what are the, we're not practicing on religion here. We can't, everybody's not into. Okay. Okay. They're free to do what they want to do. They have their free choice. Yeah, but, 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 religion, religion, yeah, is, but religion, is, religion is, is religion is a lifestyle. It's, it's the way that we honestly, live. So it's not just about, so, about I, spirituality. It's I about how you live. all of that. Yeah. But that is part of this, part of the, uh, mm -hmm. on this. I, I give an example. It's, it's, if, if you go to a store and there's somebody that, that's, that's giving flyers, right? They're, they're doing, they're soliciting they even, something. They can't even pass our flyers here. Okay, but people do that. That that doesn't bother me. I if, if I if I'm if, I, if, I, if I'm interested, I just walk right on by. That's it. Because I'm because I'm a person that's controlled my own on, actions and my my own. Allowed on this property to even pass our flag. You can't do so, that. So people so let's, actually. Mm -hmm. right, so you you just have your you just have your rules for whatever reason that you have. You have your rules. Mm -hmm. All right. So if I go right there to that tree over there, that's no private property. This that tree over there, the whole the whole the whole this lot. This whole complex. Oh, you see that car riding right mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. It's still on private property. That's the mm -hmm. road to go completely around here. Mm -hmm. It's private property. Okay. Like I say, if you go over there, where that car going up that hill, go across the street mm -hmm. over there. Yeah. Okay, but let me say one last thing. Recent, you heard about that murder that happened in Lenox Mall, recently? I don't. Know. There was a murder. There was a murder that happened. I'm sure it's happened in quite some places or in Georgia. So we have a preacher that comes and talks about these things and try to do something about the wrongs. So I'm trying to preserve life. God forbid I could have been your mall. That could, that's so, but if I come and help somebody, and that person could be could be discouraged to want to do that in the future. You never know what my preaching could do to, to protect this business, protect the people in this particular place. But you have your rules. I understand. I walk away. But when you guys reject God and have your crazy rules up, you guys are bringing darkness in your land. That someone like me is trying to help encourage people not to do those things and, and shoot people in malls. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to help to preserve life, but you guys think we don't want your life. Mm -hmm. We don't want your religion. My religion preserves life. Mm -hmm. But you guys have your rules, I understand that. But I'm trying to tell you what you guys are, could be preventing mm -hmm. a future murder from happening over here. Mm -hmm. we, could we never know what, what, could, what could happen. So that, that's, my, that's my mission as a preacher, mm -hmm. to help to alleviate crime mm -hmm. and violence because it's crazy. Mm -hmm. And most people don't, don't we, just, we, just, we go about our lives, we, do, we, we work our job, we don't know what can happen to us. I, I could, I could, that could have been yeah, your mother. That, that, that could have been your dad that, that could have died. Mm -hmm. what, huh? We have plenty of preachers come through this mall, but they don't. What do they do? They, they, they come in and shop. They shop. Get in their car and go so, what is that doing, though? That, that's not changing. That's not, that's not, that's, change. that's, not, change. that's not changing anything. That's not making things but better. We're not trying to change anybody's life. Okay, so, so you don't think it's good to change a murderer's life, a rapist's life, well, a, a, one, a, yes. a thief's life? They yeah. come all, they're all around. So, so this this reaches people. So you um, think that's gonna stop it? That can help. That because 2016, a man was about to commit murder, yeah. and I stopped him with my words. Mm -hmm. In 2016, at, at Lawrence Hospital mm -hmm. in New York, mm -hmm. my worst. That person, I, I was gonna go home that night and kill and kill my my baby mother and my and my, and my two kids. That's what because he was because do. And and yeah, that, that's what he said. He said yeah. I was gonna do that, but, but I heard what you said, and mm -hmm. I, and I and I knew it was, I couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. And that person said I wasn't gonna do it. So your intentions are good. So I don't know that person. But you know what? Yeah. It still doesn't. Yeah. Allow yeah. To okay. Well, you got you guys have your rules, but it's it's rules that bringing in and when, when they don't want pray in the schools, they don't want Bibles in the schools. So if you don't want if you don't want if you don't want the light, darkness comes in. That's, that's all I'm saying. That's on you. All right. All right. Thank you.